My name is Crystal Henderson. Chris Henderson. We are with Next Play 360, and you're tuned in to Rolling Out. First question, you guys brought Microsoft here today to talk to the kids. And, um, you know, Microsoft, I just spoke with them. They said you guys are really focused on teaching the kids about STEM yes. and things of that nature. So um, just how did that partnership come about? And, you know, what does it mean to have a partnership like Microsoft? Um, actually, we've always been into STEM with the kids, trying to get camps going, after school programs, um, trying to just educate the kids on other opportunities, um, out, you know, outside of sports. Um, and then we incorporate the sports to bring them in, hence the facility Next Play 360, um, so that they can learn different avenues um, to help them in their career paths. Uh, Microsoft came, we've been dealing with Microsoft really all of our lives, but on a personal level, uh, we've been dealing with Microsoft for a few years now. We, we use their products all the time and realize their greatness that they're putting into the community, and so we just think they're an incredible partner we're very grateful to have them yes what well, she said um also stem is, is is important not even off for sports because you're going to need that when the ball stop bouncing or, or you, you start playing any 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 type of sport so we have to incorporate that uh, with the things that we do on a daily basis so it's, it's extremely important for us yes how do you raise uh I, I hate to ask the question, but I have to. How do you raise two high-level Division One talents? Um, we actually have seven high-level Division One talents. Um, seven. How do you raise seven? <laughs> um, I think a lot of love, <laughs> a lot of uh, discipline, discipline, and um, you know, just communication. Talking to your kids and, and keeping it real and raw with them, and letting them know that you know it is a it's a big world out here, and you have to be prepared prepared for the things that are to come and just instilling confidence in them on every level. Absolutely. Uh, I think it's um, teaching the kids dedication and sacrifice, you know, within my family. And, and, and once you have that and, and you know that you really want to do something, you sacrifice and, and you put that time in. And anything you put 100%, 110%, something's going to come out of it. So I think that's the success that, that that we had as, as parents and, and as a whole family. Um, we, we, we keep our kids and make them accountable if they want to do something. Make, make them put their best foot, foot forward and give 110%. When did you first recognize that Scoop was special? When he was born. I was like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> He's him. <laughs> that's my last son. It got to be him, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I would say at a, at, a, at a very young age, this is a little story that my friend had came to the house one day and they was outside shooting or whatever. He, I think he had to be like five, four, five or six. And my other son, they was playing with each other. And then my friend just looked at me and said, I, I said, you like CJ, right? He said, yeah, CJ, he's really, really good. He said, but that little one right there? <laughs> nah, something, something different about him. <laughs> And his name is Scoop too. <laughs> That's him. And it just it just pretty much stuck with me, man. So I think that was the time I'm like, maybe, maybe I might have something special here. I think I think it was around that age too. For me, five or six, he just had um he always had a spark with him. He was very family oriented very early on. He wanted to know where everyone was when I picked him up from my mom's house. He wanted to know where all of his siblings were at. Um, his passion for attention. Um, he, he would be teethless running down the court, looking at his dad, like, look at me, dad, you see me? Um, and, you know, anytime I tried to bribe him to get something in him to be the fastest, he would be the first one to go get it, right? Um, to do his chores. Be the, fast one to, the first one to get done, you, you know, you'll get something. He's always the first one. So um, I think early on he had a competitive spirit. He was a hard worker early on. He would always be prepared for football practice at the time. Um, never had to tell him, hey, go find your stuff. He knew where everything was at. He was ready to go. Um, just He showed a different type of spark, I think, um, very early on. He paid attention to stuff that was off the court or field, too. He would come home and review his football plays and taught me the game, you know, um, learning about different routes and 
why he ran certain routes at like six years old. And I'm like, wow, okay. I was just watching the, um, you know, watching the ball go down the field. But, um, you know, he, he just really um, had a thirst and an IQ to learn, you know. Um, Crystal just won Sun Belt Freshman of the Year. Uh, what is your reaction to, I guess, her freshman season and especially going on the road in Clemson and, and coming out with the dub, one of the biggest wins in Georgia State history? Honestly, it's expected. She put the work in. Um, she knows we're not here to play any games, play hard or don't play. Um, and we expect greatness from, from all of our children and all of the kids in this community. We tell them every day, we expect greatness from you. Not just our kids, but the kids around here too. So when we see them come in the door, like they know we're expecting greatness from you. So when you leave here, you take that same confidence and discipline and go out there and work hard and you'll be a great person. Absolutely. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's expected. Um, when we get those things in the house, I just grab the trophy and put it up and say, what's next? What's next? Now what we need to go get. So that it, it really is expected. Um, like my wife said, we put the, the work in. Um, and, 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 and the sky is the limit. You know what I mean? You There's one thing about anything in the world. What you put in is what you're going to get out. So I try to explain that to my kids. So you know, we bless, she, she's blessed to be healthy and, and, and achieve that 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 as well. So what is it, it's expected. Do you have, um, what is that, philanthropy or philanthropist? Yeah, it's philanthropist. It's actually next play 360. Oh, okay, and then okay, 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 okay. Also. <laughs> yes. um, so it's a dual statement. Um, just any anytime we have the opportunity to do things here at Next Play 360, like with Microsoft, um, we are always looking to, um, you know, do what we need to do and give back um, to our community. This is our first home, and this is, you know, where the group started, and, and this is what we want to continue as our legacy. Uh, Women's History Month, I do want to ask y'all, like, who is one woman, black woman specifically, that you guys want to shout out? for uh, kind of the impact they made on your lives? You know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the left with this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the left with this one. I really wanna shout out our daughters. I wanna shout out our daughters. They have sacrificed, they have gone through trials and tribulations and they have just been really great people. Um, you know, they, they've tackled obstacles through, you know, injury and, and you know, discrimination and everything else. And they broke back, broken barriers down. Um, and I, I, I'm gonna go to the left. And there are some wonderful women in this in this um, universe that have done done amazing things. But I think you know I'm gonna pass the torch on to the younger group and say I'm I'm loving what the younger community is doing. They're using their voices and they're using them in a positive way. They're honing in on their crafts and they're saying I want to do this instead of doing the status quo. Um, I always admire their passion for just being different and just being you know in their own lanes. So I'm going to go with the Henderson girls. <laughs> um, me, I would say, um, I would say my wife. And I'm serious because I still don't figure out she did this damn thing. Seven kids and it still look like this. That's oh, crazy. Wow. First and foremost. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just, it's just for every great story. I believe there's somebody, but somebody's behind it. And um, I know damn well I couldn't do it myself. That shit would have been, been a rap a long time ago. <laughs> I would have quit. First kid would have been a rap. <laughs> but, yeah, to have, <laughs> but to have, but to have, I'm sorry, but to have seven children and, and I mean, there's been many and many, many days that I didn't want to go forward and she was my rock. So, and, and all my daughters is watching that as well. So that's it's, it's very imperative. But just to have someone solid like this, it's, 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 how can I not, you know what I mean? Look and, and, and praise what she's done, not only for my children, but for me as a man. So definitely my wife. Thank um, you. And, and wrapping up now, I want to ask, you know, like like I said, I talked a Let lot about- Let me just say this. Yeah. All of this was his idea, because I didn't want oh, yeah. no part of none of it. I didn't want any part of any of it. Don't let him fool me. <laughs> I, I do want to ask, like, like I, I asked a lot about the babies, like mm -hmm. Scoot and Crystal, but mm -hmm. like for the other five, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, just, you know, can y'all, y'all want to shout them out and, and let us yeah. know, but let me know about them. Oh, you know, right? I mean, so. like, oh gosh, like they, they just do amazing things within our, not just within our family business, but just period in life. You know, they're very passionate about what they do. 
Diamond. Um, she's our oldest girl and she's just, she's very intellectual, very quick, always a business minded person, constantly, you know, working towards making sure the, the structure of the business is, is good. And, you know, um, Jade, he's the rock here at Next Play 360. Make sure everything, our son, oldest son, you make sure everything is moving around and, and hope aesthetic. Um, China is our fashionista and she's taken that gift and she actually drafted school's, uh, did, um, school's uh, draft suit. Uh, and Onyx, she's the go-to. She's the go-to for ev all things. Onyx does everything. Um, CJ, he's working on just, you know, helping us with real estate, uh, making sure that, you know, we're investing in our uh, future the right way, um, making sure we leave a legacy to Christian and Skylar, our grandchildren, and, you know, they're just all really great people, and, and, you know, they're hard workers. We believe in hard work. We tell our parents here all the time, we don't know any other way. So if you want to come here and feel entitled or you want to feel like you don't have to work hard, you're in the wrong place. Um, that's, that's what I've seen my husband, he, you know, he, he started this facility and brought in money that we never even saw in life, right, to help keep this going. We, we started with absolutely nothing, like zero dollars. And, you know, he made sure up, you know, in a hundred, like hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, he was able to, you know, come up with that through just training and making sure that we had the right events in here to keep, you know, to give our kids access. And so we just want to share that access with all kids to say, here, here we are, here it is, use us, use us here. We're here all the time. Um, sometimes a little bit too late. But, <laughs> but um, sometimes you're up in here and you don't even realize you've been yeah. up in here all yeah. day, right? Like it's like a whole different world. Um, and so we just want to continue to pour that into community and, you know, seek like-minded uh, partners like Microsoft that want to also elevate us and make sure that we are, you know, doing what we're supposed to be doing. So we just appreciate everything. Yeah, um, the older siblings that I mean, they they played an extremely very, very, very important part. Um, I mean, you can imagine you're the youngest, and then you look up and your older sibling get, getting their ass whipped. You like, oh, I don't want no parts of that, mm -hmm. right? So you have learning curves early, <laughs> but <laughs> you like, I'm good on that. I won't be doing that right there. Right, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. And I mean that's for every. I mean that's for everything. Not like school. You make sure every. Yeah, those those right. are that was a, a huge learning curve. See, I was the only child, so I ain't have no learning curve. I had to learn the hard way. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but you can leave. You can learn by example. Mm -hmm. you can just imagine the things that they picked up. I, I mean, I can just remember when 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 my my daughters was playing. And Moochie was on the bench, probably like probably four or five years old, and she knew the game like, like an adult. Yes. You know what I mean? That's just being Fun around older, older, older siblings and, 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 and learning the game. So, and that's what makes her the player that she is today. So I mean, they are they are very responsible for for their success. So. Well. Good job, Henderson. Seth. <laughs> I, I want to say all this to say we here are rolling out. We salute you all. We think you're black excellence, black oh. entrepreneurs, yes. uh, some the community leaders, and we want to give you your flowers and salute the Henderson family. Thank you Thank for stopping you. by rolling out. Thank you so Thank much. You.